Hey everyone, Jiggy here with uh, part two of the uh, most recent update. But um, so for starters, this track that I did uh, in part one is now all glued down. So this is all done. Um, this isn't probably going to be a yard track now. It's probably just going to be a uh, siding, a super long double main siding because this the NS will parallel the CSX. Maybe eh, that doesn't make sense because then the yard would be NS controlled. But no idea, I'll figure that out, so, anyway, um, okay, sorry about that, I'm not sure where I was at with that video, but I had something to do, so, um, anyway, uh, all the, uh, uh, fittings, PVC pipe that you saw, are actually for these two bulkheads, and so what I'm going to do is, because you see they don't really fit that well, they have to be pushed down, but then you let go, and they do that deal, so, glue all those together and then I will uh, paint them gray to uh, look like uh, sewer pipes or something like that but <clears throat> so as you can see this track is done uh, well this is already done Jeez. Um, we'll get to that in a minute uh, with locomotive cleaning projects uh, refurbishing, redoing handrails that may or may not have fallen off. Uh, this one, I uh, actually cut the foam for that because the railings are kind of bent. I had to glue the railing back there, glue the drawbar back on, do the same thing for the other side. But I took, this didn't run, it was jumpy, it was just like, and it really jumpy. So, didn't know how to fix that, I just took the, uh, uh, the uh, DC board out of it, the uh, decoder, uh, messed around with some wires. The headlights still don't work, but it no longer jumps. It's really nice and smooth now, so that's good. Um, this I did some railing work. This I didn't do anything with, actually. I don't know why that's there. Railing work. Uh, this I did a bunch of railing work. I fixed the uh, drivetrain. One of them was disconnected along with the wires. That one runs pretty good. It's still a little bit jumpy. I think one of the axles may be dead or something. Uh, this one did a little bit of more railing work. Uh, nothing with that one. Um, this kit actually fell apart in me the other day. I had to glue that back together. So, it's all glued together in all the walls. This is now one piece. And I did glue the one side down for some reason. So, that's it for that. Uh, sorry, this video might be a little bit monotone. <clears throat> My throat's getting sore for being down here. It's kind of cold down here still. So, um, I'm trying to think of so much stuff to show you, but I think I did that in the first update so uh, still thinking about what to do about the second level it's still at least if I get to the second level it will probably not be this year maybe the end of this year like maybe November December maybe but for now second level is just all talk no plans yet so probably not going to do any plans this year at all but um, so also I took this switch out and you'll know this is all custom. I did all this by myself. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, it's just ties by next to each other and super glued together. But I did maintain gauge, so it's just like I took this switch out, and I kept everything else but the frog. So, yeah. So yeah, it's all custom. I really like how this looks. I hope it stays that way. I don't want to bump it or anything. But I uh, find a switch. This is what I tore up from it. So, and as you can see, maybe I'm trying to bump this. Almost an exact copy over it. So, so as you see there, really happy with this. Really proud of myself, honestly, uh, for doing ranching out and doing something like this. And a shout out to all the people that custom do their track because that was a pain in the butt. I hated doing that, but I love how it looks. Totally worth it. Would totally do it again if the situation happens. But that loved. That was awesome. Hated doing it, but it just looks outstanding. So have all this weight on this because I did add more, and this track actually went up above too much. So I'm keeping that 32 ounce thing there. Hopefully it'll crush the road bed enough so it stays like that. And then I won't have to worry about that. Um, 
uh, excuse me, um, also some ideas, because this track is so long, this is like a two train yard track, I can fit two trains in this from here to there, so what I was thinking is, uh, making this just basically like a big siding or something, or making this actually a yard track, but then I'd have to rip from here up and here up for another number eight crossover. So I was thinking about that. Um, any suggestions you guys have, whether just leave it like it is or go ahead and add the crossover. But the main thing that I'll probably sway your opinions is that um, is when the, this is the second level entrance, basically. Uh, I think, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the second level yet. Like I said, it's just all just thinking in my head. But is when trains come off this from the upper level, they can't really, they have to go down that track and all the way around, and then the crossover to get on this layout. But I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I don't know. Just ideas for now. Uh, that's all for this update. I thank you guys for watching, and we're back to work. Never. Never.